guys. Um, so I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. I've been playing it for a little while now. And uh, just FYI, I do have animals around me of dogs and cats, so you might hear some weird noises in the background. Um, I don't have a dedicated gaming room, so uh, I'm just in my living room. Uh, and we do have pets. We have four cats and three, uh, three dogs. So one of them is sleeping, one of the dogs is sleeping next to me, so you might hear him snoring here. Like a high pitched, not really high pitched, but just kind of like a, like a, a whine. And this is kind of him snoring. He's a smaller dog, so he's got that higher pitched uh, sound. So, anyway, um, I've been playing this for a while. Um, I, I just a little background. Uh, I've been doing some, some videos for uh, quite a while now, but this is my first time actually streaming with audio. So, this is my very first audio streaming. Um, I did one video that had my, um, my, like I was talking through it, that was with my Xbox, um, the hard drive video, I was talking through that one because I was recording on my phone, but I've, I've been trying to figure out how to get the audio to go through on my Xbox, I have the Series X, um, I am, I am not a Xbox person per se, like I, I, I've had one for about five years now, I've had it, I started out with an Xbox One uh, X, so that was my first, or sorry, I started with an Xbox One S, that was my first, and then it was messing up so much that when the X came out, I got that. So I have an Xbox One X, and then I also have a Series X, which I'm playing on right now. Um, but before that, I was uh, Nintendo and PlayStation, so I had um, PS2, PS3, PS4, and then before that I had Dreamcast, and N64, and NES. So I had quite a few systems, but nothing... I didn't have any Xboxes. I had I had a original Xbox for like a month, so um, I had I bought it and basically I don't know. I liked my PS2 better, so I didn't want to um, didn't want to buy all the games over again for the Xbox, even though it had the hard drive and stuff in it. Where I could, I think it was I remember you could play music and stuff through it, so I, could, I can't remember exactly, but I had it for a month and I got rid of it. So my first experience with this type of Xbox was with my Xbox One S. Um, and I never, I didn't have the idea to stream until about two months ago, and I've been trying to figure out how to get the, the party audio, or sorry, the chat audio on the video. Um, for some reason, every time I tried, my voice would be so quiet throughout the video that you couldn't even hear what I was saying. So I had to keep on deleting videos. Um, that's why, that's partially why uh, I'm on a rank 23, I'm not starting over. Because uh, I've been trying to do all sorts of stuff while I was playing this game to uh, get my audio going. So anyway, I'm a rank 23. I went through... I haven't even unlocked too much stuff on here yet. Uh, so I what I did is I, I got to like rank 10 or so. Or sorry, level 10. And uh, I started going out and killing stuff in the forest. So I got leveled up from killing stuff. So I still haven't even done all the school stuff. Uh, so I still have to do... Right now is the meat professor and figure out the tower. Uh, for the first uh, trials on that uh, first level wrecking them. Uh, and then also a little background, I am not a Harry Potter fan. I don't hate them. I, just, I actually just started watching them uh, about a year ago. Uh, sorry about that. You might hear some random sounds. I got my... I actually just hit my headset right there. But uh, just, I, I never watched Harry Potter until about a year ago. I watched one of them. It was Goblet of Fire when it came out. But I didn't really know what was going on because I saw them out of order. So, uh... I ended up buying all of them like a year ago, watched one through six, and I haven't watched uh, seven or eight, or, you know, part one and two of seven. So, uh, I don't exactly know how it ends. I know that, you know, I know I know what's supposed to happen, but I haven't seen it. So, uh, with that being said, I am not a Harry Potter fan. Like I said, I don't like them, or sorry, I don't hate them, but it's, it was a good movie. It was fine. Like, all, they were all good movies. So, um, I'm actually surprised this is not normally my type of game that I like to play, but I love this game. So if that's anything, if you guys were thinking about buying this, um, I recommend it. It's a really good game. Uh, and so far, I've only had a few things that were not, not necessarily glitched, but just, I don't know, the game made it a little hard to do. I, I guess it could be considered a glitch, but um, it fixed itself after a short time, so it wasn't bad. I didn't, I didn't have to, the game has never crashed. I haven't had to reset it. Or anything like that so um, one thing I will say is the only thing that I had a problem with was if you go in the settings on the Series X um, I don't know what they're gonna do for uh, the 
Xbox One and the Switch because they aren't out yet and they're, they have to dumb them down a bit. But if you go into, uh, what is this one? No, it's not that one. Uh, not that one either. Yes, I have this on easy. Um, <laughs> I, I, I will change that. I want to play it on normal actually. But I was thinking about just doing easy for one playthrough just, just for the story and then going through again. So I'm playing on hard or uh, normal. I, I normally play games on easy or normal. For a while there, I was uh, working long hours. I was working t uh, ten hour days plus a four hour Saturday. So, um, and I have my girlfriend who lives with me. She she also plays on games. So I don't I don't have the uh, luxury of playing games like you know all day every day. Or even sometimes I get home from work and I have a headache, so I don't feel like doing it. So I, you know stuff like that. So anyway, um, I was here just uh, performance mode um, is what I was talking about. So there's performance, and then there is uh, oops, I lost it. fidelity and fidelity with ray, uh, ray tracing. So for if I'm on performance mode and I switch it to either of these, I have to reboot the game for them to stay to effect. But I had it on fidelity mode, which means it's graphics, and I, had, I actually tried both of these. It's for graphics focus instead of performance, and it was a little bit choppy when I was running and stuff. So performance goes through, it's a higher frame rate, so it doesn't have the, the graphics, uh, the graphics aren't as, uh, uh, I haven't noticed that much of a difference, but there's, they're not as vibrant, and, uh, you know, like, I think you'll see more with the fidelity with the ray tracing, because that does the stuff with the lighting and stuff like that, but with the performance, uh, I haven't noticed the choppiness while I'm running or anything like that, so it's definitely, I would, I would say performance if you're going to play this game on Xbox, I know computer has a lot more settings. Um, so collections, you do you get all sorts of collections in here. You get uh, there's the traits which I've only unlocked uh, six of them, um, and then you will get these exclamation points until you go over them. You don't have to read them, but you have to go over it with your, with your cursor. Um, and then they have let's see, it starts about they got brooms which I just unlocked, gradients which is for all your um, potions which I have unlocked all of them. I have gotten either bought or found them in the world. Uh, and then, let's see, this is Conjurations, which is all the stuff you can make in your room. They give you a room, eventually, that you can, you know, make it kind of look like your own thing, but they don't give you a whole lot of stuff. The statue's pretty cool. Uh, Graphorn statue is pretty cool. But, um, other than that, it's, I mean, it's, if you like doing that type of stuff, it's okay, but there is definitely is one. And then there's traits, which I already showed. And there's, uh, beasts, which I have not gotten any yet. There are this whooper. If I pronounce these wrong, I'm sorry. Jobber, uh, Jobbernal. I'm guessing the case Allen and then Niffler. And those are the platypus. So I found these. I haven't like gotten too close because I don't know what happens. So I didn't even know what this guy looked like. I just saw him bouncing around like a jumping beam. <laughs> That's all. These guys were just crawling around. So and they were these ones were flying. But uh, I didn't get too close. I didn't know what happened without my beast training. Um, and then there's one handles, which I have a bunch of them. And then, what's this one? Rebelio pages. Uh, so these ones are, when you, I'll show you when you go up to something. You go up to stuff and you have to do Rebelio. And uh, Rebelio is the hurt, or not the hurt, the uh, spell to reveal stuff around you, like a, 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 almost like infrared. Um, and it helps you find chests and all that stuff. So, um, basically what happens is, you're gonna do the Revealio next to stuff, and there's gonna be like a, like, you'll see like this ghost scroll kind of thing that shows up, and if you see that, then you have to go closer to it, do the Revealio, and it kind of basically kicks out like a letter that you read, or like a scroll that you read, and when you, you don't have to read it, but it just tells you about the thing that's in the front of it. Those are with like statues, or certain things in the movie that, uh, like the staircase that, uh, and disappears. There's one for that. Um, so it'll just, it just tells you about it, in the, like in the movie or in the book or whatever. It tells you what it is. And then you go into the clothing, and all the appearance stuff. The cool thing is, is once you unlock, like for instance, a, I got these for uh, the additional, you know, like your, your WB account and stuff, and you get these too. So um, this one's actually pretty cool. But, um, and then you get different masks and different stuff like that. 
uh, through the quest. I don't remember seeing this one. I'll have to look through that one. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but I didn't even see that in there. So, uh, but you get these different hats and stuff, and the cool thing is, is once you unlock them, um, you get a, uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you later. So, um, and then this is enemies. I've gotten 27 out of 67, which is actually kind of scary, because some of them were somewhat hard, even on easy mode, and, uh, I'm not looking forward to finding more, because some of these spiders were somewhat hard. But, uh, either way, um, then you have your tools, which are your potions and your plants that you get that can, you get the mandrake and the, uh, venomous tentacula. So, there's another one too. Where is it? Oh, right there, okay. Chinese chomping gar- uh, I always said garbage. Wow. Cabbage. So, uh, there's those. So, um, but yeah, uh, honestly, I mean, this is, this game is 70 bucks. I got it for free just because my friend and I share play on uh, Xbox and he bought it. So I get it. I got it for free. We kind of alternate, uh, for the most part. I got Gotham Knights and he got this one. So, uh, and I got a few other ones. But like I said, I'm, I'm focused on, I was mostly focused on PlayStation up until a short time ago. So I have a lot of games on PlayStation and not much for Xbox. So he has all these games for Xbox and, Basically the same games I already paid for on PlayStation, but I get, I get to play them with some of my friends on Xbox, so it's uh, a lot nicer not having to pay for them a second time, or even a third time, because some games I've paid for three times, or uh, sorry, I've paid for twice already, and I don't want to do three. So here's your gear. I have her looking, looking like this. Um, if you know me, uh, for the most part, uh, I almost always create female characters. I don't know why. It, I, it might just be guy, even though this girl's supposed to be like 17, but that's, you know, it's not anything weird, it's just, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't know, I just, it's more enjoyable for me, nothing, uh, like I said, it's nothing weird, it's just, uh, when I play a game, my favorite movie is Underworld, and I am like, borderline obsessed with Jane Beckinsale, so almost every single game, when I create a character, I create a woman, and I usually name her Celine, which is what her character's name is on, in Underworld. So you can change your wand handles, stuff like that. And I usually know this one is very cool looking. I just, I just like the uh, this part up here, the crown part. I do like this black one too. That looks pretty cool. But I don't, I don't like that one. That one's okay, but Ooh, ah, my bad. Ah, this is one I was using. So I'm not gonna go back to this one. My bad. This is one I used. <laughs> so. Uh, I think I switched it on accident at one point, so I put it back to the black one, or put it to the black one to see what it looked like. And I think it went back to the wrong one. So either way. Um, you can also, there, you can go on an app or a website or something. That's the app. Um, when you do link your accounts, it has this thing that, go, that goes through and it gets you all these, uh, you basically answer questions and it tells you what sort of, um, what faction you should be in and also what your wand should look like. So, uh, and then it, it goes into the game too, I believe. But, so when I got this wand, it actually was the exact thing that the app told me. So I, I can't remember if it goes through it in the game too. I think it does. It, does, it gives you things to uh, to select, and then it figures out which wand you should have or whatever. So oh, excuse me. And then let's see here. I am sorry. Oh, me. I am sorry. I <laughs> I just I don't know why, but ever since I was younger, if I talk a lot, sometimes I yawn, <laughs> especially if I'm a little bit tired. So I apologize for that. Um, and then a little bit of background on me, um, I am in my late 30s, I have played video games all my life, I'm a car freak, um, I love cars, I don't know how to fix them very well, but I love cars. Um, and then the other thing for me is, okay, so I work at a place that I, I solder parts a lot, um, so about a year ago I got injured at work um, somewhat. It's, it's not something I'm going to complain about, or actually I, I didn't even turn it in because um, at the time nothing happened, but it did affect me later on. So that is one part of advice. If you ever have a, an accident at work, no matter how small it is, because um, 
there is a chance that something turns up later, report it. Because I did not report mine, and I don't know what I, I haven't even tried to report it even now. But I can't, I don't know, I don't think there's anything I can do because I have no proof of anything. So, except for I told one person, because it's like when it happened, because they, uh, they were sitting next to me. So, I have no idea what I can do except for just eat, you know, eat the injury and, uh, and pay for it myself, and I had to actually get it fixed. So, anyway, uh, I had solder. Um, if you know what solder is, it's, uh, there's a soldering iron, and it's like a metal that melts at like 400 degrees, and the iron is hot enough to melt the solder. Well, if you do it a certain way, the solder will splatter, and you'll get like these metal, basically liquid metal balls that will fly everywhere. Um, one of them flew directly into my eye, um, and right onto the center of my cornea, which is like where your pupil is. So, uh, I had that nothing happened, but, um, hang on one second. Sorry about that. So, uh, I had an injury with uh, solder when I was at work, and I had solder fly in my eye. So, it, nothing happened like when it first happened. I had like no evidence of an injury, but then that was back in like April or May of last year. And then all of a sudden, one day uh, in October, I had COVID, and then I woke up. It was like about a three day, three or four days after I got done having COVID, and I got home from work, took a nap, and only for like an hour, and I woke up and I had double vision. Um, and what it is is the area that got burned by the solder. Um, it, I think it's I, I think it's scar tissue of my lens that. Um, so my right eye, I have a circle of an area that my vision is distorted. So. Uh, my left eye is still correct, my right eye is distorted, so when I look at them together, it's distorted. Um, it's like a double vision. So, um, that's, if you see me, like when I'm playing games right now, like I used to play shooting games and racing games, I still play racing games a lot, but with shooting games, I have a harder time aiming, because uh, for one, it takes me longer to realize what's going on. Like, like when I look at something, like for instance, Call of Duty, they have a picture of a grenade when you have a grenade near you. It takes me longer to register what it is because it's I have a double vision on it. So um, shooting games, it makes it harder now. So I'm I, I was average at shooting games. Now I'm not as good as I was, but I'm still I guess okay. Um, so if you see me streaming shooting games from now on, um, I'm not going to be that great <laughs> because I, I have a hard time focusing on what I'm shooting at, especially sniping stuff like that. Um, I can't see thing like like uh, for instance. Um, PUBG, like players unknown, unknown, uh, bleh, sorry, players unknown battlegrounds. Um, I, uh, I can't see people running far away and stuff like that anymore. Um, I, because I, I see two of them, so I can't shoot them. Um, but games like this are still okay. So if you're new to this type of game, um, like I said, I recommend this game. I have, I'm not even that much of a Harry Potter fan, or not really a Harry Potter fan, but I don't hate them, like I said. But uh, this is a good game so far, um, and. Again, I am a level 20, and I am not, like, I went off and killed stuff, so I gained levels from that, and not necessarily doing the quest, so I'm still pretty early in the game. Um, and then also, there was rumors saying that you could make your character evil, so that's why her name is Evil in Wicklin, because it's supposed to be evil and wicked. And then come to find out after I already started that you couldn't be evil. <laughs> so you can be mean, like, you can be mean to people, but you can't, like, uh, do a whole lot to them, I guess. So far, at least. So, but I found out looking online that you can't be a, like a, a bad guy, basically. So that kind of sucks. Um, hopefully, they'll unlock that at some point. So anyway, uh, when you get your armor, I was talking about this earlier. When you get your armor, so you get your gloves. Right now, I have one set of gloves. Um, I do not know why these are highlighted. There's six of them. Oh, because that's hat. Okay, never mind. 
So it's, it's gloves and then your hats and then your pants or whatever outfits and stuff. It, so it's, it shows up on here like that. So this is my gloves. And then those other symbols were my masks and my hats and stuff like that. It's all these ones. So anyway, so what happens, the cool thing is when you buy or when you find gloves or buy gloves, like for instance, I have this style right here. Um, you go out and on here you see on, on it says X with change appearance. So you can go into that and you can anything that you have bought or found even if you sell it you get to keep the style so i can change these to look like this or whatever because i've I had them before so if you haven't had them before then they're going to be a blank spot um but i don't know if i've had all, all the gloves yet so that's the cool thing you can sell them and still keep the stuff and then so basically you get the armor and uh you'll have like right here it'll say like my offense is 52 um so like the last one my offense might have been like 48 um so i can switch out my gloves with this and still make them look the same which is awesome that they did that even though I can, and then then i can sell the old pair and get the money out of it so uh and then you got masks um you can make them invisible too so that's the other thing um i only have one, one mask and it has a trait or a destruction trait that's why there's a blue dot right here so um but the cool thing is you can change this too here's that one i was talking about that's from a quest but i don't really like that um, and then you can do glasses. I've unlocked this mask before. This is pretty cool looking, but um, you got like Harry Potter glasses, of course. There's all sorts of different styles you can get. That one was pretty cool too. But, um, and like I said, once you sell them, you can still keep the design, which is awesome. I like that they did that. But either way, I still. Uh, Oh, there you go. The, <laughs> so, oh, this is another one. This is the one you get for free for linking your account. So, it's like, that's kind of cool looking, but I'm not a fan of it, of using it. Um, so, and then, where's the other thing? So, hats. Hats are pretty cool. Um, oh, my bad. I have mine set to, uh... Oops, I took it off. I need to put it back on. I haven't played this in a few days, so the buttons. I'm trying to remember the buttons again. So some of the hats are pretty cool. Um, so there's like this this witch hat. Um, like all sorts of different styles of witch hats. There's one with this uh, spring on it. So let's see. This one I don't remember seeing, but that's yeah, I don't like that hat. Like an elf type. Oh, that's like a sleepwear one. Some of these are pretty cool looking. Um, all beat up. I never saw that one before. Nice top hat. You did this one pretty early on. At least I did. I don't, I don't. I don't know if it's the same for everybody or if it unlocks a different. Like if you know, if you guys get something that I don't have yet, I did. You know, if it's random. I don't know if it's random or not. So um, there's that guy. I don't remember seeing that one either. I think a few of them I I got and I couldn't. Just, there's a few armors and stuff like that. Not sorry, not armors, but clothing. That you have to take them to the uh, a certain spot to um, view them, and then once you view them, then they show up. And I think what happened is I I sold them before I viewed them, and it still it still showed up in my stuff. So because um, I sold them because they were lower than what I was wearing, so it didn't matter. But I didn't think about the appearance part of it. Um, so, but luckily it looks like it gave them to me anyway, even though I never revealed them. So, but. Uh, don't remember that one either. Ooh, I did do not remember getting that one or that one. Okay, I remember that one. Yeah, I don't remember these ones at all. I don't like that one, but I mean, it'd be cool if they had a suit of armor like that. That'd be cool. I haven't if if there is, I haven't unlocked it yet. So right now, I'm still going with uh, invisible. Then there's these scarves. Which um, I always keep them invisible because I don't I don't like scarves, <laughs> I just don't. So I keep them invisible. There's nothing cool. They're all just scarves with different designs. There's nothing like, you know, where it's like a metal band or something like that. There's nothing like that. So at least so far. Um, and then you get your clothes. And here's that one I was going to tell you about. Was this one? This is the one that you get for linking your account. Um, if you have, I chose Slytherin, so that's probably why it's a snake. If you choose a different faction you'll probably get a different emblem on it and different coloring i'm not sure about that but um there are some pretty cool 
cloaks. Or, yeah, cloaks and robes. So, uh, let's see here. That's just a cape. Um, I actually kind of want to try a cape for when you're flying on, on a, um, oh, that one's not bad. That one kind of fits this a little bit. But I kind of want to try the cape, or try like a cape on, uh, when I'm flying on a broom. I just unlocked flying on a broom not too long ago. I like this one too. This one's cool. The design on the back. Uh, a lot of it's like sleepwear though, which I'm not a fan. I don't like the sleepwear look. So... Like that one straight up looks like a robe that you would wear at your house. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I don't see any difference between these ones. Oh, just the bands. Okay. It's just the, uh, these right here. A different color. And what's different? Oh, the inner piece, really? That's the only difference? Look at that. There's a green section right here that shows up and disappears with this one. It's black there. That's dumb that they would do it something so small like that and count it as another article of clothing. Uh, that one's not bad looking. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Huh. There's a suit. I don't. I do not remember getting this. Uh, it must have been for killing spiders. I just. I'm gonna have to look. That is pretty cool, though, that I got a suit of armor. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Trying to do a suit of armor. That is actually pretty cool. Uh, where am I at here? What am I trying to do? Hats. That's right. It's not masks, it's hats. That is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty cool. Huh. Not gonna use it right now, but that is cool. Let's I do another on spot. So let's see. Invisible, invisible. And then you get these outfits. Uh okay, I only have one. I checked every so often because you can sell, but you did this is the outfit I'm on. You did like you did like these school like school girl outfits. Um I don't know. I I haven't played with it like using a guy yet, so I don't know. If, I mean, I doubt they would look like this. <laughs> of course, because he wouldn't have a skirt. Yeah, duh. Um, so yeah, I, I I don't know how much cooler the being a guy would be on this game, like you know the clothing, because everything here looks like a teacher or a school, like a school girl, and I'm not really a fan of that. Like some of them look okay. Like this one looks okay, but it's you know. There's pajamas. But I like this one. It looks like kind of like a maid <laughs> type of deal. I don't, do not remember getting that one. That's new. Ooh, that's new too. That looks more like a maid than this one. Oops, one's the wrong one. Yeah, I mean, same outfit pretty much, but I like this one a little bit. That one, I do not like a sweater. <laughs> do not like that. That's cool, and so is this one was cool too. But those are both pretty cool. But and I think you can change the color on them too. I'm not positive on that. I thought you could, but I guess not. Or is it in here? I don't know. I thought you could change the colors on stuff. Oops, I completely messed up. I did not want to use this. What am I on here? This one. I like this. Oh, nope, I am on the wrong one again. <laughs> My bad. This one. There we go. I just like that one. I don't know why. It's just it's plain looking. It looks kind of like to me like a like as if like kind of like a Robin Hood type deal. I guess. I don't know. Just that old style that I'd imagine somebody that's running through the woods would have. I mean, I don't, I don't want her to look like a kid either, because I mean, that's, I mean, she's literally a kid. She's like seventeen-ish. That's what they're supposed to be, but because um, apparently that's what like a fifth year would be. But so I don't want to use the stool girl thing, because to me that's weird. 
I don't, I mean, you know, just being an older, I mean, I'm not older, but I'm in my late 30s, but I don't, I don't want to look at a school girl running through, um, especially if she's 17. <laughs> so this one just looks like she's just somebody that was just out in the woods, like surviving out in the woods, so I'm cool with that. But, uh, okay, I'm good now, gloves, everything. And then you get your brooms, you can have five, I think it's five different brooms. What's this one, Night Dancer? Uh, nimble. What's this one? Perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Yeah, this one's pretty cool looking with the, the uh, fire at the bottom. So, and then flying mounts I have not unlocked yet. And then wand handles over here, which is all these ones I showed you already.